Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a very basic video to walk you through all of your different dial screen options on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now, what do I mean when I say dial screen? I don't mean your watch face. I'm talking about this little circle up here. This is what's called your dial screen. No matter which watch face you choose on your Garmin Instinct watch, you're always going to have this circle available on all of them. And within the dial screen, there's certain data elements that you can choose to display. And that's what I'm going to be showing you here. This is a pretty basic video. If you've had the Garmin Instinct before or you watched my videos before, this video probably isn't for you. This is really more for the brand new user who just got home with their Garmin Instinct. They're trying to set up their watch face and they're trying to figure out what the heck are all of these options up here. So let's jump into it real quick. I'm going to press and hold the menu button. I'm going to choose watch face. And it doesn't matter, again, which watch face you choose. Most of these are going to be available on all of them. But you'll notice as I'm going through all of them, they all have this circle icon up here. Again, referred to as your dial screen. So I'm just going to go back to my main one. I'm going to press GPS, and I'm going to customize it. The first field that's going to start blinking for you is this dial screen. And I'm going to walk you through all of your different options in here. So the first one that's blinking for me is your current moon phase. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky one. It's pretty easy to tell that now because I'm currently in a full moon. Depending on what time of the month it is for you, you might have just a blank circle because there's no moon visible. Or you might have just a little bit of the moon showing. But that's your moon phase. This one here is your status icon. So what status is, is it's basically going to show you four different elements within one data element screen. It's showing you whether or not you've got the watch on Do Not Disturb, whether you've got any alarm set, whether your phone is connected, and your battery level indication. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, make this a little bit easier for you guys to see. So that's what the status icon is. The next one is going to be your battery life. It'll display your battery indicator as well as the number of days remaining of battery life. The next one is going to be the day of the week and the day of the month. Your next one is going to be the month and the day of the month. Your next one is going to be your heart rate. Now you'll notice mine just has some lines on it. That's because I'm not wearing the watch. If you're not wearing the watch, it won't be reading a heart rate. If you just take the watch off or if you're doing this while the watch is on, you should see a number here which values, which is your current heart rate. This is the number of steps that you've got in a given day. Now you have to have acti activity tracking turned on for some of these data elements. This is one of them, uh, but that's your current steps. This is going to be your current elevation. Uh, so it kind of looks like some mountains there. Some of these icons are a little bit hard to figure out. I've done a video in the past where I'll walk you through how you can kind of figure out what icon represents which element, but that's going to be your elevation. The next one's going to be your barometric trend. So what it's doing is it's showing you a trend over the last six hours of the barometric pressure, and then it'll also give you your current barometric reading. That line that's just uh, pointing to the side means there hasn't been any kind of trend change over the last six hours of barometric pressure. The next one is your sunrise and sunset. Now, this one's a little bit tricky when you first start looking at it. You'll notice that mine has a down arrow above the sun. That's because the next event that's going to occur for me is sunrise, uh, sunset, which is at 8.16 this afternoon. Once sunset occurs, then this element will automatically change to sunrise. It'll have an icon with an up above it because the next event will then be sunrise. And it kind of toggles back and forth depending on which of those events between sunrise and sunset are going to be the next to occur for you. The next one here is your cell phone notifications. Now this is kind of a tricky one depending on how much you use your cell phone. This should mirror your notifications from your cell phone, and it won't clear out until you clear those notifications on your cell phone. But it's a good indication if you need to know, oh, I need to go check my phone, I missed a notification. That's what that would be. That's what that two is indicating, is I've got two notifications that haven't been cleared from my phone yet. The next one is the uh, calendar notification. This displays the number of calendar notifications I've got for the given day. Today, I don't have any more calendar notifications. The next one is the current weather. Now this is a tricky one. I've had several discussions with people who want to argue about this, but it's showing now and it's showing 88 degrees. This value is only representative from the last time you sank your watch to Garmin Connect. As long as you've got Garmin Connect up and running on your cell phone, you're always going to have a valid weather reading, but it's pulling that information from your cell phone. It's not pulling it directly from the watch. If you don't believe me, uh, cut off your cell phone and restart your watch and see what happens with this value. Again, this value is only going to be showing the last time it read 
Garmin Connect off of your cell phone because that's where it gets your weather information is from your cell phone connection. Totally different than temperature, this is your weather notification. The next one is going to be the number of calories that you've burned for the given day. The next one is going to be the number of floors that you've climbed for the given day. Again, this is one that's going to have to require you to have activity tracking turned on. The next one is going to be the number of intensity minutes that you've had for the week, not for the day. This is for the entire week. And then your next one is the Universal Time Coordinated UTC. Uh, if you're interested in the uh, what used to be the GMT time, now it's called UTC time. Now this one is going to be your solar intensity and your solar charging. You're only going to have this one available if you've got the Garmin Instinct Solar. All the other ones should be available on the regular Garmin Instinct, but for the uh, solar intensity, you would have to have the solar model. What this will show you is it'll show you what the current solar intensity is for your watch. You'll see I don't have anything highlighted around this circle. That's because I'm not currently getting any kind of solar charge. That's basically it. When you cycle through, we're going to see the same ones again, but you'll notice now the background color is black whereas before the background color was white. So it's really more of just a display preference. It seems like there's one more that you should be able to see. I think I'm missing one here. Ah, this one. This is the uh, sun position on the current horizon. You'll notice the middle line is a differentiation between nighttime and daytime, and you can see where the sun is currently on the horizon for the given day. It's really kind of like the old uh, moon and uh, sunrise sunset indicator on automatic watches where it'll show you if it's daytime or nighttime and you can see the sun coming up and then the moon coming up. That's kind of what this is on the Garmin Instinct watch. And last but not least, we're back at our moon phase. So I hope that helps. It's really easy. I'm going to put a link out there that uh, gets you this information from the Garmin website in case you wanted to read any more about these. But that's a quick look at all of your uh, dial options dial screen options for your Garmin Instinct watch. As always, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.